Hi friends, Miss Tracy here from the Myrtle Beach Art Museum. Welcome to another episode of our virtual early art education program. Sadly, this will be the last episode that I make for you as I will be moving away. But I wanted to thank you so much for watching and for all of your support. And I will miss you all so much. Today's episode is inspired by the book, This Pretty Planet by Tom Chapin and John Forrester. Based on the song by the same authors, this beautifully illustrated picture book celebrates the pretty planet we call home. Winds blow, tides flow, shooting stars descend. Our lives begin, middle and end on this pretty planet. Today, we're gonna learn more about Earth Day and what each of us can do to keep our pretty planet healthy and happy. So sit crisscross applesauce and turn those listening ears on. A blue and green ball spinning in space, our pretty little planet is a very special place. We can keep it this way by celebrating Earth every single day. On our pretty little planet, there are different types of habitats where many types of animals are known. Polar bears, seals, wolves, and penguins call our polar regions home. In the forests far and near, you will find rabbits, foxes, and deer. In the rainforests, where it is never dry, you will see monkeys, birds, and dragonflies. In the dry savannas, you will hear not only giraffes, but the elephant's trumpet and the hyena's laugh. Along our coast, during the day and at dark, you can see many animals like gulls and sharks. But our pretty little planet is truly rare. We must all help and do our share, not only in April, but also in May. Let's celebrate Earth every day. We can do this by reducing our plastic use, reusing or repurposing disposable items, refusing plastic drinking straws, and recycling paper, glass, and plastics. Good job, friends. Kiss your brain. Now it's time for an activity. For our activity today, we are going to take a look around the classroom and find things that are round, just like our pretty little planet. Now it's time for an art project. For our art project today, we are making out of this world prints. These are the materials you will need. Nine by 12 inch black construction paper, Q-tips, paper towel roll, small cup, any other objects that would make a circle print and paint. In this project, you can really have fun with color mixing and exploring the different colors that you can make. Using your Q-tip, you can blend your colors together to make new colors. Next, you can take your different objects, like this biodegradable cup or your paper towel roll, dip it in the paint, and then make circles on your paper. These are going to be our planets. You can also use your Q-tips to make polka dots all over your paper in different colors. These can be different features on your planets and also distant stars, planets, and galaxies. You can also use your Q-tip to draw rings around some of your planets as well.
You can also use your Q-tip to add color to your planets. I'm making one of my planets look like planet Earth. If you are able, please reuse or recycle the materials used for this art project. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had fun. I'll miss you. Bye, friends. Thank you to our program partner. Thank you to our generous supporters. <laughs>